I'm Dr. Derek Carroll with Baxter Health Chiropractic, and one of the more common questions that we get asked is, what can I do at home on a regular basis to help prevent back injuries and to keep my back strong? Well, we've had that question enough, and uh, numerous people have uh, been taught some different exercises, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and put together a short little video to give you uh, are really our biggest three exercises that we give to people in order to help you keep your back strong and stay injury free. These help us to do a better job with your adjustments and make it so you don't end up with nearly as many flare ups and so that your main focus when you come in can just be keep me feeling good. So uh, we'll have uh, a little assistance here uh, from our assistant McColl and uh, We'll show you some exercises here. Our plank exercises. So, uh, the idea with plank exercises, for most people, we're going to have you start off on your elbows and your toes. And the idea is that you're going to raise your hips up uh, to become perfectly straight. Okay? Uh, the idea here is we're actually engaging all the muscles around the core and concentrating on bringing in the belly, but without over tightening the abs. So, let's see what we're talking about here. Okay? Okay, so for the most part, she's got the form down pretty good here. One modification I'm going to make, and this is a really common mistake here, is just go ahead and come down just a little bit. Right there is where you want to be with your plank exercise. You want to be pretty well straight across and make sure that you're tightening everything around here. So uh, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you tighten the core all the way around the sides here because that's a big point. Now, you can go ahead and relax for a second. Okay. <laughs> all right. So with your plank exercises, when you first start doing these, you want to make sure that you're holding for anywhere between 5 to 10 seconds, take a break, then go ahead and come back up, do another 5 to 10 seconds, uh, take a break, and then do another one. You want to do three sets. Now you want to get to the point where you can come up and hold that plank for a minimum of a minute each time you do it. But a lot of times when you haven't done these before, 5 to 10 seconds is about all you're really going to want to do because otherwise you'll be hurting pretty good. So the next one that we're going to do is a side plank. Okay, So same idea but you're going to really be working more of the muscles along that part of your back there, okay? So, uh, we'll let you go ahead and get in position here. So usually with this one, you go on one elbow, you put one foot on the ground, and you can either go ahead and put one foot on the other, or you can actually put it in front. And often enough, people find it helpful to go ahead and bring that one arm up. And she's actually got pretty good form there, coming on the side there. Same idea as far as the duration goes, okay? And you want to do that on both sides, so you can go ahead and relax. All right. Yeah, you want to make sure that you always get both sides in because otherwise you end up with one strong or you know one strong side and one weak side, and that's never good. That always leads to back injury. So uh, the last exercise we're going to talk about is uh, it's a hip raising exercise more than anything. Okay. So we start off on our hands and knees here. Okay. And you want to make sure that you start off in a really good position. So go ahead and bring this down just a little bit right there. So we're good and flat across the back. Now, the idea is you're just going to raise your leg straight back. You don't want to raise your pelvis, so good. You keep the pelvis level, just like that. Hold it for about three seconds, and then go ahead and bring that leg back down, and then do the opposite one. And see how she brought that hip up that time. You want to keep that level, okay? And just shoot the leg straight back. Go ahead and bring it back in, and do another set to the other side. Good. And down, and the other one. Good. That was better at the time. Okay, so the idea with this is that you want to do three sets of 10 to 15 on each leg. So that means if you're going to do 10 on each leg, you go, uh, you know, your left side is one, your right side is two, so on and so forth. So you'd count up to 20 there. Um, or if you like to just go one and one, whichever works for you, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you get at least 10 on each side and do three sets of that. Um, you can also complicate this one a little bit when you get feeling really good about it and actually do opposite arm, opposite leg. So um, we'll do that one here as well. So again, nice flat back. Okay. Good. Yep, exactly. You raise the opposite arm, opposite leg, and that does actual cross training of the muscles throughout the back. And it also helps training in balance too, which is a good thing. So, But those are really your basic exercises for retraining your lower back and stabilizing it so that uh, 
uh, you can be strong and stay relatively injury free, you know, barring any kind of different accidents. But uh, uh, those are some of our most, most important ones. Keeps all the muscles along the spine in good shape and keeps you in better alignment. Thank you very much. And uh, if you need any other services or you want to talk to somebody about different things you have going on with your back, please feel free to give us a call here at Back Health Chiropractic. Our number is 970-635-2848.